Hi, my name is Gracie Gerhart, and today I have the honor of introducing my good friend, Madison Carr. Madison is a force to be reckoned with when she zooms into the senior parking lot in her famous punch buggy convertible or struts down the hallway with her bold stare that may intimidate you at first. But when you get to know Madison, you will see that she is a generous, loyal, and hilarious person with an infectious laugh who can always offer caring advice. She has never failed to brighten my days when I have seen her doing couples yoga with Anna Catherine, when she has fallen out of her desk on multiple occasions at school, and when she has offered me friendship in my times of need. Many of you may recognize Madison as a Commercial Appeal Athlete of the Week. People often ask me, isn't Madison Carr like insanely good at volleyball? To which I always answer, why yes, the rumors are true. I have had the absolute privilege of playing volleyball with Madison for the past few years where I've been able to see her tireless work ethic and natural leadership in action. So I can attest that all of the hype is so well deserved. Without further ado, please help me in welcoming the one and only Madison Gabrielle Carr. Four-year-old Madison, on the paint aisle, in Home Depot, where doers get more done. I was, one, I was with one of my preschool classmates, Matt, and we wandered onto the neighboring aisle. Three minutes later, there was a loud cry. It was not for me, though. When my mom got to the aisle, Matt was holding his nose. I was asked, Madison, what happened? In my preschool class, I had learned about personal space, and I understood that everyone had an imaginary bubble that could vary in size and create a comfortable distance between yourself and other people. So I humbly told her, he got in my bubble. <laughs> As individuals, we all value different things. But from a very young age, I have valued my boundaries and personal space. I am not a sardine, therefore, I do not enjoy being packed in with other objects where I am shoulder to shoulder with the next person, although there are some people who would not have to be asked twice to do so. Now when I ask myself, 14 years later, what was the biggest takeaway from that entire experience with Matt? I can say, the biggest takeaway is that I would do it again, <laughs> but preferably in Lowe's. I set boundaries that I believe are worthy of being respected. I choose to fill my bubble with items that hold value to me rather than holding on to clutter that lacks purpose. While others may struggle with donating items in their closet, I find it simple to let go of shirts that have only been worn a few times in a single year, embarrassing moments, or even letters. Some have difficulties creating space between themselves and a friend who is not so much of a friend, but I have no issues with establishing that space. On volleyball senior night, Coach Casey asked if I wanted to take home a bundle of leftover balloons. And of course, I said yes, and I gladly took them, but in my head, I was hoping they'd deflate quickly so that they would not be in my room for days on end just to be there. Although I throw many physical items away, one item that I have kept since the fifth grade is my raggedy blue and white straw pencil pouch. It is so old to the point where the straw is falling off and leaves a trail. People have come up to me and asked, don't you think it's time to retire this item? In which I say, no. Because one, it holds significance, and two, the zipper has not yet fallen off. As you can tell, I hold on to things that I truly appreciate. When I leave the halls of St. Mary's, I will gladly discard or remove from my bubble uniform skirts being called Lauren Carr in the memory of opening my chicken tender sophomore year at lunch and it still being pink on the inside. <laughs> However, I know I will remember certain memories beyond the intersection of Perkins Extended and Walnut Grove that have taken place here as I move forward in my life. They include, the day I was sent to the closet in Ms. PQ's music class. <laughs> the name Madison Carr Vroom Vroom in St. Mary's Volleyball. B. Fletcher, also known as Betty Fletcher 380 on TikTok once said, always let your yeses be yes and your noes be no, because anything other than that will keep you entangled. I encourage you to stand firm in situations where you may have to establish limits and draw the line between a friend and item within a conversation or even a memory. Fill your bubble with the things that hold significance to you while determining how far you want it to extend around you. Hashtag speaking from the heart in car. Thank you.